r slash ask reddit what's a name brand item you refuse to replace with generic crayola crayons generic taste funny this is a list of post-apocalypse high-value trades post-its all knockoffs don't stick they are horrible lego no rivals have comparable quality Evidently it's not trademarked anymore, but trampoline used to be a brand name. Even if it weren't, I'd refuse to call them rebound tumblers. Data storage. If I lose years of photographs it will be because of my own negligence, not because I saved 8 bucks on a SD card. Edit. Some of you must think that I subliminally asked for data storage advices. I assure you that I was not. Edit 2. I know that the shoulds and the coulds are burning your soul right now. Please don't do it. This is pretty specific but scotch commercial grade packing tape. The Uline tape is fucking terrible. Q-tip. I've tried others and they suck then I'm stuck with like 2000 shitty cotton swabs. Nilla wafers. The off-brand versions tend to be flavored differently and they leave a funny aftertaste. Growing up black, well I'm still black but also grew up black. I used to notice my white slash Asian friends houses would smell so good on laundry day. My house never smelled like that. Come to find out pretty much all my friends family used Tide. At my house we used some cheap generic stuff. So somehow in my childlike brain I started to connect Tide with success. LOL I don't know. It wasn't until my late 20s where I finally got a job where I can easily afford the way more expensive Tide brand and to this day it's all I buy. Smells like nostalgia. 3M command strips. I would love to find out who manufactures the napkins sold to places like Domino's, so that I could then order a nuclear strike on their factories. I don't understand the purpose of napkins that don't work as napkins. I get about 784 of them every time that I order pizza, and their only use is to soak up liquid, they don't work for wiping hands or any other surface. In a pinch you could probably use the edge of one as a blade. Edit, thank you for the silver, kind stranger. Reddit should thank you, too. Convinced me to go VIP so that I can give awards out from time to time, myself. Smiley face. Don dish soap. It's just good, and really not that more expensive. Many people mentioned Hellman's mayo. Heinz ketchup and beans, Kikoman soy sauce. Here's one I haven't seen. Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Absolutely no substitute. Tampons. I'm a cheap bastard most of the time but if something's gonna be jammed up my fun hole for hours at a time it better be of the utmost quality. Glad garbage bags. Have bought cheap ones, sucked my body weight in ass. Don dish soap. You use so much less. M's. Knockoffs have the wrong chocolate to coating ratio or their chocolate isn't as good. Also Crayola crayons markers, color pencils. I'm all for the store private label options in other areas. However the off-brand art products are crumbly and produce mediocre results. Cheez-Its. Fuck you, cheese nips. Hui Fong Sriracha. Sriracha isn't trademarked and some knockoffs even have roosters and Chinese text on the bottle so you have to know the brand name to find a good one. Earlier this year there was a shortage and my parents bought four bottles of the fake stuff. Tried it and it wasn't the same at all. Sharp it. Big lighters. Because last time I bought some cheap generic lighters on a two for the price of one deal at the gas station, one of them blew up when I lightly tossed it onto my coffee table and the other exploded in my hand and I don't know how or why I wasn't seriously injured by that, just dumb luck I guess. Big lighters are better quality than the generics and I've never, ever had one explode like that. Exploding lighters are scary AF and I don't need that kind of excitement in my life. K 
Kerry Gold Butter Premium Brand Saltine Crackers All other brands pale in comparison Zip LOC Bags All the generics I've tried have super shitty seals that are extremely difficult to snap into place and they are weak as hell Post-it notes and practically anything else made by 3M not really a brand name but I stopped using supermarket bacon after trying it from a butcher's. I've found generally supermarket bacon shrivels up to a ridiculously small size, I'm guessing they inject it with water to make it weight more? The bacon I get at the butcher's basically stays the same size and tasted much nicer, I know it's not something everyone can afford but I eat bacon pretty rarely so it's a nice treat when I do. Ticonderoga Pencils all the other ones don't hold up to intense note jotting. Philadelphia Cream Cheese Doritos, making generic Doritos should be a crime. Pop-Tarts Every other off-brand doesn't taste even similar. Always Night Pads Nothing else can suck up that much blood that quickly. At the other end. Pun intended. I prefer original aqua fresh toothpaste in taste over all the others. Charmin. I prefer ultra soft, but ultra strong is suitable. Anything by Newman's own. I am happy to support their business if their proceeds are helping children and their families and their pasta sauces and salad dressings are some of the best. NyQuil knocks me out really good. The generic ones give me a weird half awake feeling and I hate it. Cheez Its. The knockoffs always taste like garbage. Edit, totally agreed. The knockoff goldfish Oswell Arshite. I'd also just like to add Pringles knockoffs too, looking at you great value. They suck. Plastic wrap. It's worth it to buy the name brand because the box doesn't fall apart. 409 cleaner nothing else works the same console controllers anything that isn't official other than the super high-end competition level shit is actual shit looking at you logitech don fish soap and gain laundry detergent edit it's my dream to one day be a tide buyer but i'm just slightly too cheap for tide but not generic brand detergent cheap. Edit 2, Don Fish Soap Stays. Oreos. Sears Tower. Windex. No, no. The store brand leave a film. Coca-Cola. It's a small thing, but, the generic colas just don't taste the same. Paper towels. The cheap ones just don't tear right. Reynolds Wrap Aluminum Foil Heinz Ketchup The others are too watery nauseated face. WD-40 Surprised I haven't seen it here yet. Clausen Pickles Ice Cream, Frozen Dairy Dessert is not ice cream. And F Sharp K them for sneaking out. 5 quart of it so I only get one. 5 quarts of ice cream for the same price. I see your tricks. Happening with chips and other food too. French's classic yellow mustard and Heinz ketchup. Kraft mac and cheese. I've yet to find an off brand that tastes right. Daisy sour cream. Absolutely no substitute will ever be allowed in my house. Boar's head for deli meat slash cheese. Not that anything else is bad, per se, but nothing else compares. Cinnamon toast crunch cereal. The generic just didn't taste the same to me. Cheerios. The generic just are not even close to the same. Otterbucks. Those phone cases mean business. Swing line stapler. If they took my swing line, it'd be the last straw. King Arthur Flower Kellogg's Raisin Bran Other brands vary wildly. 
Purel hand sanitizer. Camel's tomato soup. Philadelphia cream cheese. Tried tons of generic brands over the years when money was tight but they're all funky to me. Now it's the one thing I let myself always splurge on. Me, Kiko Man soy sauce, Lysol, Advil. Craft singles. If I'm going to eat plasticized cheese adjacent product, it had better be name brand plasticized cheese adjacent product. A root beer. I will die on this hill. Tillamook. Bailey's. It really disappoints me when a restaurant tries to substitute a different brand. You can usually tell just by color and smell before you even taste it. Nutella. Most people seem to be throwing out things like food slash drink, soaps, etc., consumables, but I'll throw an odd one out there with tools, always worth spending more for a name brand set of drivers or Allen keys if you happen to need more, cheaper own brand things in the supermarket just won't last as long and you'll end up spending more with how often you have to replace them anyway. Hidden Valley Ranch. It's just better. I won't buy any other brand even though they cost a lot less. Saltines. Cheese. I prefer Tillamook Extra Sharp Cheddar. The other cheeses taste. Less cheesy lol. Band-Aids. Coca-Cola. Duke's Mayonnaise. There are none better. Frank's Red Hot. Nothing else even comes close. Hidden Valley Ranch. They literally invented the stuff. Heinz Ketchup. Pretty much all the other ketchup is jam like you'd put in a PB. I was watching Taskmaster last night, English show, and a comment was made it looks like the cheap vinegary ketchup but it's the opposite in the US lol, that vinegar ketchup is the premium. Reese. Fritos. Everything else is just a corn chip. Don dish soap. No other soap comes with a picture of a little ducky that I can display in my kitchen. White barn candles. Rather wait till I can afford the really good candles rather than buy the cheap Walmart brand that barely have any scent. Feminine products. Before I go my IUD, it was always infinity or nothing. Absolute best protection I ever had. Also, my toothpaste. Oral care isn't exactly fun and it's made more difficult by one of my autoimmunes. While from a chemistry standpoint, toothpastes are basically the same, not so much from a flavor standpoint. I want my crest complete in cinnamon. Gordon fish sticks. Every other fish stick basically melts in the oven. We don't eat them a lot so it's easy to get them when they go on sale. Ziploc bags. Nothing else stays closed as well. Legos. Anyone that says that other brands like Mega Blocks are the same are full of shit. Camel soup, especially cream of celery for my tater tot casserole. For those curious about the recipe. Ingredients, 2 pounds ground beef slash round, 85% lean or better, 1 bag tater tots, roughly 2 pounds, can do many if you like. 3 cans cream of celery or mushroom soup, your pick. You also need a good spatula that will fit inside the cans, and, in my method, a large casserole bowl, though you can do a single layer in a long, short one. Prep, brown beef in skillet, strain after cooking. I usually do a pound at a time, because you then put just under half in the bottom. Add one layer of tater tots, cover with just under half of the soup. Add whatever spices you like in a generous amount here, as it'll bake into the center and be well spread out in each bite, I use McCormick spicy steak seasoning, but pepper works well, too, just avoid salt, as the soup has enough already. Repeat the layering, beef, tots, soup, if applicable. Cook at 375 Fahrenheit for 60 to 70 minutes, let cool for 5 to 10 minutes after. 
and, like lasagna, it's one of those meals that tastes even better as leftovers. Edit 2, if anyone cooks it, feel free to comment here about it. Tide Coca-Cola Cheese it A one steak sauce OxyClean Hand to God, soaked a white and yellow shirt with an old grape juice stain overnight and it came out. I had washed and dried this shirt at least eight times and was resigned to having the stain, broke college kid. My dad told me to just try it. Holy shit. Twelve years later, still satisfied. Sensodyne toothpaste. Pampers or Huggies diapers. I've had no luck with off brands. MR. Clean magic sponges. Yeah you can get 50 million off-brand Melamine sponges for 2 cents, but then you have 50 million pieces of crap that fall apart if you look at them. Get the MR. Clean ones. Kleenex. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.